I don't know about you guys, but this update was unexpected. So I'll have it linked in the description box. And if you have the NPC one, the OG version, not the one plus, well, you have to update it manually. And if you have any trouble trying to update it via Wi-Fi like I did, then you can go to this link too. And I'm gonna use the MPC Live 2 and I'm gonna download the stuff right now. So I'm downloading the PC version. Make sure that you download the proper one for your computer. After it's done downloading, of course, you would just go over here to your browser and then make sure that you select it. I'll just hit open right here and then it should pop up. The update is right here. I hit update MPC. It says MPC not detected. Go to your MPC, use the USB cord that was provided with your MPC, plug it up to the back of the unit. On your MPC, just go to menu, preferences, and then go to update. And then it will say switch to update mode. Switch it to update mode, hit update. When it's in update mode, it'll look like this. And then just hit update MPC. And then it's preparing to update and transferring the data. We'll be back in a second. After it says done, hit done, and you're good to go. So why even install this new update? New plugins, of course. So to gain access to your new MPC plugins, all you would have to do is go into menu, then preferences, activate plugin, and then once you scroll on down, you will see that you have new plugins like Air Expander, Air Multi-Tap Delay, Air Vintage Filter, and Air Chorus. Let's go ahead and just hit download on all of these. Let's try out the new air course effect. So I have this sample right here and I'll have it linked in the description box more about that a little later. But then I'm gonna go over here and activate chorus. And this is how the chorus sounds like. Let's go through some of the presets. All right, let's go back to initial. And then it has, you know, simple functionality, like the first Q link or whatnot, controls rate, depth is the second Q link. Then the third one is feedback. And then you can control the mix with the fourth Q link. You can also choose the pre-delay. And then you can offset. and just mess with it as you please. Not bad, not bad at all, I would say. The next thing we'll check out is this. We're gonna go to the drums and we'll check out the new delay. So the next thing we're gonna check out is the delay. So I'm gonna go ahead and pump these drums up here. And then we're gonna go to the second insert and we'll go to the multi-tap delay. So it's in alphabetical order. So we have this. And it is wild right now. Let's go through the presets. Matter of fact, what I'll do is this. I will go back into the main, get this snare here, and then we'll put it on that program. So let's go ahead and dial back in. Multi-tap delay. And then let's go through the presets. So it's on the snare right now. And as you can hear, it is a ridiculously insane effect. It does have a second tab where you can route. This will be a little bit more. I'm just reimagining the snare here. And so you do have different options here. Uh, you have the cue links here where they control the amount of delay per delay. You can turn them off and on, as you can see. 
and then you can sync on or off so you can actually have it in milliseconds you can do the mix on the 4q link oh sheesh that would sound dope on a clap and you have the other parts where you can control the pan of the delay through the cue links and then the volume. So you can actually turn stuff up and down. And then on routing, of course, you have just simple controls just in case you want to mess with it or not. Also not bad for a free plugin. So let's talk about the expander and I got another track up. And what I want to do, since I have a loop, you can hear that it has kind of some weird aliasing and stuff like that. So the expander in itself can work just like a gate. So what I'm going to do is just go back into the my plugins and then go to the expander. And as you can hear, I got some stuff I don't really want in that drum. And once it's on, then you can hear that it chops it up, kind of reducing the sound. And here are some of the presets. There's one in specifically that I'm looking for. It is called like beat loop. So this is how it sounds like with the air expander on. And this is with the air expander off. So on. And I kind of like that. So let's go ahead and bring it back into the elements of the track here. And if you need to, you can just always adjust in your presets. So I'll just go over here to Q-Link 1 and adjust the threshold. And as you see, that it's not letting enough through. And the more I go to the left, you can get more of that element in there. You can adjust the ratio, the range, the output, and then the attack and the release. So let's mess with the attack and release. Now, I know this is the one y'all been waiting for, and that is the vintage filter. How does that sound? So using the same track here, I actually have a filter, or actually I don't have a filter on the uh, sample itself. And what I'm going to do is just go right over here to that V section because it is in alphabetical order. So vintage filter. Okay, that kind of caught me off guard. I like it so far. Let's just let's just get back to it. All right. So what I'm going to do is go through some of the presets. Get clicky. Whoa, fatness, funky bass, 808 flat, rounded kick. So I'm starting to get the gist of it. Let's go back over here and let's go to initial. And the first thing you need to know is that it has one, two, three on three Q links options so now that i'm in here on the initial i'm gonna do it go to high and i can hear that it is pretty damn rough i like that i like that for a cot but you can assign an lfo to it and you can choose the lfo depth so if i don't want any lfo in the filter you don't have to hear that so that's in q link three of course and then in q link one you can adjust the cutoff you can adjust the output. So it's a little distorted, but I like that distortion that it has. You can adjust, adjust the resonance, the fatness. That's cool. Let's go ahead and turn up the output so you can hear the fatness. So that's basically like distortion. Second one, if you touch the Q-Links, you can adjust the filter. So I just need that filter right there. You can adjust the attack. So you can basically dictate, you know, when the filter kicks in. 
So the to the right, that means that it's gonna come in slower, to the left, faster. Release, you can also make it to where it releases itself and you can choose the depth. So let's go over here and uh, just attack. So you can hear that. That's kind of cool. I ain't gonna lie, that's really dope. And then of course you can assign an LFO and an uh, LFO rate and then the death. That is truly unique. Wow. Okay, Akai, you, do, you did that. You did that. That is a whole ass plugin right there. I like that for you. There is a spectral plugin that's for the MPC desktop software, but I don't feel like installing it. Fuck it, I'll install it for you guys. So to check for an update, all you have to do is go to the hamburger menu at the top left side of the screen. Then we're gonna go over here to help and then check for updates. And if that fails, you can always go over here on your respective computer and type in InMusic brand software center. Make sure that you download that through your account. Once you have logged in, just hit update and then do so. After that is done, just hit install. After you install the new software, it will tell you the release notes, but of course we're going over that now, so we don't need to. At the top left side of the screen, hamburger menu. Then we're gonna go into preferences. So let's find the preferences. And then let's go over here to activate plugins. And then you can download all your plugins from over here. It is also worth noting that you can register your plugins inside of the MPC software. So new track has pulled up. It sounds like this a little disc right here. And what I'm gonna do is go over here and get to that sample. And then we're gonna pull up that plugin. So from this plugin menu, just to get rid of all the extra plugins and whatnot, I'm gonna turn off type and then have manufacturer. And then I'll go into air music technology. And then I'm gonna scroll on down until I see spectral. And then once I get spectral, I'll select it. And then now let's listen to it again. Left click to access the plugin. Now we see it in front of us. Let's hear some of the presets. Out of all the new free plugins, I like the Vintage Filter the most. It's ridiculous. And it has a lot of weight to it. And that's something that I was looking for on the MPC. And it gives it a little bit more utility because I, I like using the high pass filter when, you know, I just want to get something done real quick when it comes to sampling. But having a, another option, it's actually fantastic. And the multi-tap delay is not bad at all. I mean, I think that every groove box or every person that makes music should have a good multi-tap delay, especially if you're into like house music or if you want to transcend your snares. And I don't know why I use the word transcend. To the right of me, I have more content for that ass. Make sure that you subscribe. What you think about this new MPC update? <laughs> I thought it was pretty dope. Definitely wanna hear from you guys in the comment section. I can't wait to see what the future holds. Stem separation, please. Damn.